ASTM C29 or C29M-17A, known as Standard Test Method for Bulk Density and Voids in Aggregate, is a test method that covers the determination of bulk density of aggregate in a compacted or loose condition and calculated voids between particles in fine, coarse, or mixed aggregates based on the same determination. This test method is applicable to aggregates not exceeding 125 mm in nominal maximum size. You are in construction materials and testing. The bulk density of aggregates determines a type of concrete for which it may be used for judging the quality of aggregate. Of the early methods of mix design, they make use of bulk density of aggregates in proportioning of concrete mixes. The bulk density is also required for converting proportions by weight into the proportions by volume. The bulk density or unit weight of an aggregate is defined as mass of the aggregate per unit volume. It is expressed in kilograms per liter. The factors affecting bulk density of aggregates are how densely the aggregates are packed. It depends on the packing of aggregates that is, either loosely packed aggregates or well-dense compacted aggregates. In case, if the specific gravity of material is known, then it depends on the shape and size of particles. It is because, if all the particles are of same size, then packing can be done to a very limited extent. The shape of particles greatly affect the closeness of the packing because the closeness of particles depends on the shape of aggregates. For a given specific gravity, the angular aggregates show a lower bulk density. If the addition of smaller particles is possible within the voids of larger particles, then these smaller particles enhance the bulk density of the packed material. Lastly, the absorption of the aggregates affect its weight. With the different states, the moisture content is an important factor in determining bulk density. When aggregates are to be batched by volume, it is necessary to know the bulk density which is the actual mass that would fill a container of unit volume and this density is used to convert quantities by mass to quantities by volume. ASTM C29 known as a standard test method for bulk density and voids in aggregate is often used to determine bulk density values that are necessary for use for many methods of selecting proportions for concrete mixes. A procedure is included for computing the percentage of voids between the aggregate particles based on the bulk density determined by this test method. Note that unit weight is the traditional terminology used to describe the property determined by this test method, which is weight per unit volume, but more correctly mass per unit volume or density. The formula for bulk density is derived from the general formula of density, which is the ratio of the mass to the volume. However, unlike in fluid mechanics, where the material is homogeneous and taken as one, aggregates properties would have to be separated between the solid and its moisture content. At their natural state, the presence of moisture is considered in the aggregates. So, bulk density will then be computed as the ratio of the summation of mass of solids and water to their volume. Although considered for the topic of moisture content, let us discuss the different states of moisture in aggregates to better understand what we term as natural state. The four states are oven dry OD, where the particle is dry from inside and out, air dry or AD, the particle would be dry from the surface but moist from the core, saturated surface dry or SSD, which would have the particle saturated or moist until its surface, and the wet state where there would be a film of water at the surface. Of these four states, only OD and SSD states correspond to specific moisture contents, and either of these states can be used as reference states for calculating moisture contents. The AD and wet states represent the variable moisture contents that will exist in stockpiled aggregates. The SSD state is the best choice as the reference state for the following reasons. First, 
It represents the equilibrium moisture state of the aggregate in concrete. That is, the aggregate will neither absorb water nor give up water to the paste. Next, the moisture content of aggregates in the field is much closer to the SSD state than the OD state. The bulk-specific gravity or BSG of aggregates is more accurately determined by the displacement method in the SSD condition. And lastly, the moisture content can be calculated directly from measurements of BSG using the displacement method. If a statement is like a coarse aggregate with higher bulk density, then it means few of the voids can be filled by using fine aggregates and cement. The specified degree of compaction is divided into two, which are loose bulk density or uncompacted aggregates. Loose bulk density can be determined by shoveling method, which is filling the container with dried aggregates until it overflows from the container. When pouring aggregates from the shovel, maintain at maximum of 2 inches from the top of the metal measure to avoid too much segregation of particles while they hit the bottom. Now, level the top surface of the container by rolling a rod on it. Take note that proper leveling starts from the center going to the sides. After that, weigh the aggregate mass that is inside the container and divide it by the volume of the container. This will give you the bulk density of the loose aggregates. The shoveling procedure for loose bulk density shall be used only when specifically stipulated. For compacted aggregates, the test for the bulk density is to be determined depending on the maximum size of aggregates and the degree of compaction. If the nominal maximum size of aggregates is not greater than 1.5 inches or 37.5 mm, rodding method is used, whereby bulk density can be determined by filling the container in three layers and tamp each layer with a 16 mm diameter rounded nose rod. After filling in three layers, now level the top surface and evaluate compacted bulk density by using the same expression as for loose bulk density. The jigging procedure is applied for aggregates having a nominal maximum size greater than 1.5 inches or 37.5 mm and not exceeding 5 inches or 125 mm. It is for the reason that rodding bigger particles will be of little advantage for compaction. With similar layered procedure, the metal measure is shook by lifting both sides at least 2 inches, 25 times each for a total of 50 jigs. Jigging procedure arranges particles of aggregates through their weight. 